Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I thought we'd work on our parser a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a parser bug or a code generation bug, but uh, this is something that uh, our friend Richard had run across, which is to say that, uh, that this cannot be parsed. Uh, so he had to do it this way instead. And so I need to figure out what about this cannot be parsed. I'm just going to uh, copy that and then uh, Ben, Natalie, um, let's just see that. Does it get parsed at all? It does. It's an adder assign. It's an M assign is the overall expression. And then each uh, item on the left side is an adder assign. So I'm guessing that's the problem. Uh, so let's see. So if I have an array is just has two items in it. And then I do this uh, multiple assignment thing. And then I print the array. Um, what is the bug here? Uh, unknown M assign type. Yeah, so I uh, I have that error somewhere in multiple assignment line 80. So we'll just uh, go, go take a look and see if we can figure that out real quick. Uh, unknown M assign type. Yeah, well, I, I raise a helpful error message there because I figured there would be other other things that I hadn't handled yet. So, uh, huh, I assume that we, let's see, expression M assign set. So I, M expression inspect adder assign. So if it's an adder assign, then we want to do something different. I'm not sure exactly what yet, because uh, let's just see, what does it look like when these are just regular uh, variables. One, two, make this an A and a B. Uh -huh. And then we print A and print B. Uh, but I do need the AST, of course. Uh, what's the difference? The left hand side is an array and the right hand side's an array here. Uh, so that's the same. These are two arrays. Uh, and then L assign versus adder assign. So I kind of need to uh, examine this adder assign and figure out how I'm going to handle that. So it's going to look something, oops, hmm, looks something like that. Um, And the value is already extracted for us with this code. So that's cool. Uh, huh. I guess I need to know, how do we handle, hmm, how do we handle regular adder assigns? If I have a hash and I do h a equals one, what does that look like? That is an adder assign. Cool, so that means I have an adder assign somewhere at or a sign in pass one. Uh, huh. So we just, cool. I think we just need to do that. Well, that's not going to be too hard. So we need to do a public send and we need to pass in the arguments. Uh, huh. So what, what do I get for a value here? value and let's just do an exit. So let's run this again, uh -huh, like so. Uh, the value is array value by path. Uh, it's just a single value. So I need to do this args thing and I need to do this public send thing. So we're gonna do that. Uh, I do a lot of copy pasting when I'm <laughs> when I'm doing stuff in the compiler because uh, it takes a lot of my brain power to figure out how to write this code. So I don't I don't want to write it again. I just want to copy paste. Uh, I don't know if that's I, I guess it's a sign of laziness, but I read somewhere that laziness is a good quality to have as a programmer. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna do this sort of thing here. We don't need that. Um, we don't need to process it because it's already processed. So we just need to create this args expression. It's only going to have one item in it. It's going to be the value. And then we need to return an, an expression that's a public send. Um, 
process receiver. I don't. So let's print the. Oh, I'm already I'm already printing it right there. I can probably just go look at it. It's right here. Uh, Elvar A. I think I need to process that potentially. Probably. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, maybe. Maybe. Let's try not processing it. See if it works. Uh, so that's the receiver. This is the message. And then this is the first argument. Oh, I have two arguments. That's right. Uh, I have two arguments. Uh, the first argument is the message. So let's let's kind of break this apart here. So we have this here. It is I already copy and pasted it? Here is this. We have the receiver, the message, and the adder. Uh, equals the expression. So we'll break that apart. The arguments for this method call are two. They are the adder followed by the value. Uh -huh. And then we just return this. Let's try not processing that. And then we'll uh, intern the method message message. And um, kind of wish I would have called it message over here too. Why not? Why not? Uh, message and then the args, and that might actually just work. So let's try. Let's try this. Print a. Okay, no conversion. Uh, no implicit conversion of symbol into integer. Uh, huh. Foo a bar. Oh, because that's not a. Uh, that's not an. A. It should be a hash. Silly me. So we'll say foo is one and bar is two. That might make more sense. Uh, well, let's just run this through Ruby 2 to make sure that we got that right. Cool. Uh, I did forget <laughs> to write a test for this. So we're going to comment that out. So it's basically uh, what it was before. So really nothing has changed. I renamed this. That's fine. This is all commented out. So let's go write a test uh, assignment test, I guess. This probably uh, does multiple assignment from an array does single assignment does multiple assignment from an array like object um, let's just say it does multiple assignment um, hmm. does multiple assignment uh, for attributes and we'll say the hash is foo one par two and uh, what what was this code that we were using here? Uh, just something exactly like that. Foo and bar are getting swapped to bar and foo. And then we expect H uh, should equal bar one and foo two. We can run that through Ruby. Um, to make sure that I wrote the test right, uh, a oh right, let's do an H here. Perfect. So that's good. We'll add that all to the index. I'm happy with that. So now let's just go uncomment this code. And oh well, let's run it. Uh, see rake and Ben Natalie test Natalie assignment test. Let's make sure it's failing. <clears throat> it, indeed, it is failing. So now let's uncomment this. And let's run it again, and hopefully all the tests pass. Hopefully all the tests pass. Yes, uh, there's that, and uh, that's it. That's the that's the whole video. We did it. Uh, uh, fix multiple assignment uh, f with attributes, uh, which means I can now go and find that. Uh, the doo -doo -doo -doo. Was it parser tests? No. Pass four, no, okay. Uh, I don't even remember what it was. Fix me, parse, it was something like that. It's parser issue with double quotes, okay, that's something else. Here it is, here it is. Let's just put this back like this. And this is the EQL, hash shared EQL, something, something, something. So I'll run the whole test suite and make sure that this didn't break, um, but I, I have a feeling that we're, we're in good shape here. So uh, all the tests pass, and uh, I was just going to write a commit message here. Uh, use original 
uh, multiple assignment uh, since we fixed the parser. No, it's not a parser, the compiler. Uh, compiler. Actually, can I just amend? Yeah, I'm just going to amend it. I'm just going to amend it. Uh, git rebase interactive origin master, I think, would work. And then I'll fix this one, use original. Yeah. So now it's all just that one commit. So we added this uh, special case for when it's an adder assign. Uh, I did rename that to message just because I thought that made more sense. Uh, this was the code we were targeting to uh, put it put it the right way. And here's our test. And uh, yeah, pretty simple. So hey, uh, a little bit shorter video this time. I'm going to be trying to uh, do these little videos like this instead of the big features all the time because it's a little bit overwhelming for me to record uh, and edit and then probably a little bit overwhelming for you to watch. So I'm going to be trying to do some shorter videos like this. Uh, so keep the encouragement coming if you like that sort of thing. Uh, if not, let me know uh, if you like the longer ones too. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be doing some of those at some point anyway. But uh, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for hanging out and I uh, hope you learned something. I'll see you next time.